If you're looking to reduce your mouse's weight, a battery swap typically has the biggest impact and is totally reversible. Before you start, you need to know three things. First, how many wires is your existing battery? If you have a three-wire battery in your mouse, that means you need to stay with a three-wire battery. That third pin is usually a yellow or white and it's a thermistor that's required for safe charging. Secondly, you need to know your JST connector size. Most common is 1mm, 1.25mm, and 1.5mm. I have this spreadsheet in the link in the description below. You know, free feel free to ask questions. At the end of this video, I'm going to walk you guys through it. Logitech GPX uses 1.5mm. Razer uses 1mm very commonly. And the last thing you'll need to know is, can you solder, yes or no? So if you can't solder, this is my top recommendation. It's 150 milliamp hours for 3.2 grams, and these are around $6 a piece on eBay. If you can solder, you can get into lower capacities with much lower weights, and these are also a lot cheaper, around a dollar a piece. So let's start with this Deluxe M900 that I did recently. Stock weight of 63 grams, there were four screws under the feet. If you want to reuse these, make sure you don't crease them. I use a flathead screwdriver or a really thin plastic pry tool to pull them up. Again, plastic pry tool to separate the upper and lower shells. These usually clips one on each side. Sometimes there's one on the back middle. Don't use a metal object unless you want to scrape the crap out of your mouse. You can also use a credit card or a guitar pick. Inside of the mouse, you want to note the orientation of the JST connector here. So here I am showing the 400 milliamp hour battery with three pins, 8.48 grams. Now, if you want to sacrifice your mouse uh, battery for the connector. I have spare connectors, so I ended up doing this separately, but um, you'll want to trim them one wire at a time. If you do all three, then you're temporarily shorting the battery, and that's probably not a great idea. So, once you have them trimmed, you're going to want to extract each of the um, wires. I left about an inch here, maybe two and a half centimeters. You want to pull up on the pin on these plastic fingers, and then you're going to want to pull out. And that's what it looks like. Here I am doing the same thing to the black one. And then, when you want to reinstall these, these fingers, they sometimes get bent upward, so you want to press them back down. Here they are with about an eighth trimmed off of the ends, eighth of an inch or three millimeters. You're going to want to reuse that connector. The 140 milliamp hour battery I'm opting for is 2.8 grams here. Again, you can see they put tape at the end here, so after you're done trimming your battery, you'll probably want to put tape at the ends just so it doesn't short or something when you throw it in a drawer. So here I am soldering, just don't need a whole lot. I had helping hands, um, these are really great. Heat shrink tubing, maybe just a half inch. And I personally like using a lighter, it doesn't need a lot of heat. That's it. Here I am double checking the pinout, so I'm going with the fingers facing up and the wires coming down. I've got thermistor, red, black. So I'm gonna need to emulate that. So note the prong on the pin here, that little tab at the top that locks in with those plastic fingers we bent up earlier. And you push it in and you'll usually feel a snap and I do a little test pull to make sure it doesn't come out. So again, here I am going to double check against the existing battery. Yep, we have thermistor red black, looks good. And now to test it to see if I got everything right. If there's going to be any sparks, here's where we'll find out. Um, here I am trying to install it upside down. There we go. Don't force it. Just friction fit. Sometimes there's a little bit of a clip. Click. And I'm going to turn it on and check for smoke <laughs> or, or if LEDs come on. Looks like we got a green LED, so it is good. So here's the battery, 3.02 grams after I solder on the connector. Now for locating within your mouse, I opted for weight balancing to put it more towards the end here. If you want to put it back farther, you'll obviously more need more wire lead. Some people opt on top of the mouse with double-sided tape. If you do that, there's these little plastic pins on 3395s that I like to melt down with my soldering iron at a low setting. So there you go, 52 grams. This had a few other mods to be able to get that weight, but that's the gist of it. So if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Um, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to hop into the spreadsheet and walk you guys through that if you're curious now. So. My recommendations for batteries are at the top in yellow, and then list of mice specifications are down below. So if you aren't open to soldering, um, this is my my number one recommendation. For about $7 plus $5 shipping, um, you can get two batteries. Save 20% when you buy more. These are 150 milliamp hours. These are 3.2 grams. 
you're not going to use 2.0 or 2.54 millimeter. Those are, I haven't really seen those ever. You're going to mainly use these three sizes. Again, Logitech uses 1.5, Razer uses 1.0, and then a lot of people use 1.25. Um, if you are open to soldering, so those end up being like $12 for two, that's like $6 a piece. If you are open to soldering, you can get lower weights. My favorite is this 125 millimeter for 2.2 grams. It's a pigtail, so that means you're going to have to solder. So, that's oh, two wire. There's our three wire. So, nine bucks plus five dollars shipping, like fourteen dollars, will get you ten pieces. So, that's like a dollar forty a piece. So, this and these only weigh 2.2 grams. Pretty incredible. For the rest of the spreadsheet, um, I have like the ca capacity of the battery, how much it weighs. This is the most important thing. Um, the connector size and then the pinout. So the pinout, like I showed in earlier, with the cables coming down and the fingers facing us, this would be like red thermistor black. So thermistor um, is usually white or yellow, but they're often interchangeable. So for example, um, the Darmo Shark M3 4K has a four, 800 milliamp hour battery, whopping 15 grams nearly, JST 1.0, size red thermistor black for the pinout. Um, so this one I got down to, yeah, 55 grams is going to be really easy because you're going to have a 12 gram savings if you go to a 3 gram battery for this. As far as selecting the capacity, um, your battery life of your mouse is going to depend on three things. First, the firmware that they're using. WL mouse was recently uh, catching some flack because their firmware was very, very inefficient. Secondly, it's going to be your sensor. 3395 is very efficient. And then lastly, it's going to be your MCU. So, like, the Nordic MCU, uh, the 52840 is very efficient, whereas, like, the Broadcom 3633 is less. And then things like T-Link are even worse. Um, 3395 is one of the most efficient sensors. You can also get, like, the 3311. It consumes a little bit more, maybe, like, 10 or 20% more. Um, like, 3335 is pretty bad, too. Um... Razer and Logitech usually have a lot of battery, battery life optimization that goes in, so they're pretty good. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Feel free to leave any questions or comments down below, and I'll respond accordingly. Thank you guys so much for watching.